Men have to start marrying women that can admit when they're wrong. You will find as a man that most of the women you ever dealt with and women that you deal with, they will never admit that they're wrong, ever. Many of you guys have never came across a woman that can admit and say, I'm wrong, I didn't know. You know, I was wrong, you were right, I'm sorry. I will weigh everything out next time. They rather say, let's agree to disagree than to admit that they were wrong or didn't know. A woman that has a problem admitting was she wrong or saying she's sorry, run, run for it, run. You got to run for it, run for it, run. Get up out of there because what's going to happen is a woman like that is all about herself. She's more concerned about being right because if she don't have humbleness, her heart is not humble to say, I'm sorry. She's not going to give you a peace of mind because you know when you're right and you know you, when you know something, she's supposed to help assist you, trust you, and follow you. Yeah, you may be wrong sometimes. She's helped to guide you. But if she can't say that she's wrong, then she's not there for you. She's not helped to guide you. She's there using you, trying to control you. She's using you as a battery source. She's not a unicorn. There's nothing special about her. You got to watch out for women like that. They can't admit that they're wrong. They're always trying to be a naysayer. They're always trying to convince you that you don't know what you're talking about. What they call it, narcissism or something like that? I don't know, all the stuff they call them. I just know that there's so many of them out there that... They won't admit that you're wrong. And they can mess your mind. They can damage your psychology. They can mess your mind up if it's not strong enough. You know, because you, they're making you think you're wrong. Then they're not giving you a peace of mind because everything is always a hassle. They never just can say, hey, babe, you're right, or I'm going to trust your instinct on this one, or this and that. Or maybe they know, they're, they know that they're wrong from the start. But they just want to be a naysayer anyway to play, or they try to play victim. They'll, go, they'll get off the topic. Many women will get off the topic. If you're right, in order to say, they'll avoid every opportunity to say they don't know, or they're sorry, or something like that. They'll avoid every opportunity. Those are the women you must avoid. You got to leave them alone. Put on two or three condoms. Do not get her pregnant. But if you come across a woman that can say she's sorry, you know, and she it seemed very sincere, you know, and uh, she she give you a peace of mind, and she's she's not really she's easy easy to please. She just like being around you. She, she don't gotta be doing nothing Hollywood. To spend time with you. That's a woman that love you. When, when you ain't gotta when you ain't gotta be Hollywood. You ain't gotta take it to fancy restaurant, be all on a boat and plane and then grabbing a leaf from another foreign island somewhere around the world with snake about to take your leg off. You ain't gotta be doing all that. You just could be chilling, walking in a park, walking in a mall or just doing something simple and she just having a time of her life being in your presence. Marry her. She showed a consecutive amount of time that she's on your side. She's think about your health. She take off work to try to nurture you when you're not feeling good. Massaging your crusty feet, massaging your back, sucking on your hand bone without you asking. That's a good woman, Joe. She try to stay clean for you, keep her Keep her behind clean for you. Keep, you know what I'm saying? Make sure she smells good for you and stuff and let you have your way. She's taking stress out of your life. Marry her, man. Treat her good. You know what I'm saying? Treat her good. But if you're dealing with somebody who's acting like you got to try to impress her or buy her, indirectly buy her, put on two or three condoms and roll out. Boom, boom, boom. Ba-ba-boom, boom. boom, boom. Let's roll up out of that, man. All right? 
I'm Alan Rayonaire. You know who I am. Check out the description box. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Even my latest single, Pookie and Ray Ray Anthem. The link is in there. Check it out. Download it. If you want to talk to me live, one-on-one, -on -one, you want to have a, want me to discuss something that's going on in your life, you want to know my thoughts on it, you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation, my email and my Instagram link is in there. You can message me on Instagram or email me and let me know how much time you want. And we, can have, we can set something up and discuss, discuss something. Um, also, put Jesus first, like always. Jesus is everything. Everything else is just a distraction. We stuck in the middle of a spiritual warfare that's going on between heaven and what, what God made is hell. You know, we, are, we as humans were not designed to go to hell. The hell is designed for Satan and his demons. But we got choice. God gave us choice to do anything. So we can choose to go down there with them if we want to. But hell is a choice. It's not a must. Choose Jesus. Don't choose hell, man. You don't want that. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all in the comment section. Press like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified when the next Alan Rillionaire video is on deck. I'll holler at you in a little bit in the comment section.